today's video we're going to be looking at the toilet and how that works both internally and externally with the uh, Thetford cassette. Um, now internally, because the, the toilet will only work if the 12 volt is on. Um, it's an electrically operated um, flush system so you have to have the 12 volt on. So if you look over at the panel here you can see we've not only um, got the, the 12 volt turned on but we've also got the water uh, the water pump engaged as well that's this button here so we obviously need that on to be able to use the the flushing facility so what I'll just show you now is the, the key components of the toilet internally and then we'll move outside and we'll go through how to um, prepare the cassette and then also how to uh, get rid of the waste at the end of uh, your holiday okay there's not a lot of room in here as you can see but um here we are in the toilet area now in the instructions for the toilet which are on board the van um, it does actually call uh, the valve that is in between the toilet and the cassette it's, it's known as a blade valve so I've marked on the toilet here uh, the blade valve itself and you can see it's got a closed position and an open position so effectively all you need to know there is that when it's in the open position um, anything that's put into the basin here um, will end up in the cassette and obviously if it's in the closed position uh, nothing can pass through into the cassette itself. So moving up um, just onto the toilet flush panel here these are the main controls the blue button here is um, the flush so when that button is pressed um, water will come out into the pan and this button here is a is an electric um, ventilation system now the this we found that this button is um, a little bit temperamental um, it took us a while to figure out how to get it to work but it does work um, what happens is when you um, when you flush the toilet that will come on automatically and will stay on for seven minutes and it's designed to remove uh, fumes from the toilet area it passes out through a filter um, in the external cupboard and but it's um, we find that at night particularly if you've only um, done a number one uh, it can it can be quite annoying because it, particularly if it stays on for seven minutes so you have the option with the button here to be able to turn that off um, as soon as you've you know as soon as you've had enough of that noise now here we are outside the van, um, I'm just going to take you through the process of preparing the cassette um, and what to do when you've got some waste in there and you want to get rid of it at the dump station. So I'll just show you first of all what we've got in here, you've probably seen this on a previous video. Um, the main thing we need in here are the sachets which um, go into the cassette. Uh, one of these per 20 litres and we have a 20 litre capacity cassette in this van so one one of these will go into the uh, cassette in preparation for uh, the use of the toilet and, it, and that would be added to two to three litres of water I normally put about three litres in um, and that creates the, uh, the fluid in the cassette that then will take the waste during the duration of your trip. Uh, these tend to only last for about four days I would say if you've um, gone that sort of duration on your holiday uh, you want to empty the cassette and replace it with a new a new sachet just in case we don't have the sachets when you're on board um, and we have the liquid that's uh, 150 milliliters of fluid uh, again per 20 litre capacity and added to three litres of water now we're at the, uh, the cassette here um, just going to open up the doors and remove the cassette so we lift up the orange handle and remove the, the cassette now as you can see um, there are a few orange um, knobs here the two that are most critical are this one here this will allow air to enter into the cassette when you're emptying it and this one here which is the main uh, fill and and um, waste uh, removal uh, inlet so you can see there it turns on its on its side 
and this removes. Now this is a, a measuring cap. Um, it only goes up to 120 milliliters, but um, it, there, it is graduated inside. I don't know if you can see that, but it's graduated inside. So you could do uh, one lot of 120 and then one lot of 30. But we're using the sachets at the moment, um, which are just one complete sachet uh, per 20 litres of capacity. So you'd put your um, sachet into here. You'd also put your three litres of water in, close up the, the lid, and then replace the cassette. Now, having prepared the cassette um, for use, um, I just want to point out this little compartment here. It's a sliding door, which reveals underneath it um, the a valve effectively which keeps this closed so you get, don't get any spillages. It can be opened using this one. Um, I haven't had course to do that yet but I guess for cleaning purposes it might be useful. Um, but we keep that closed and this closed as well. And the physical act of putting this back into this compartment will open this door so it's ready for use with the toilet. Remember the blade valve internally is what opens and closes the um, the toilet itself to allow any fluids to pass into here. But putting this back in will actually allow this door to be opened uh, automatically as you put it in. So I'll slide it back in. And there we go. So the cassette's now ready and there's nothing more for you to do. Now, when we come to um, get rid of the waste, obviously what we've done uh, ourselves is to work out a, a system that works for us and we found that um, depending on the dump station you may want to um, go and have a look at the dump station in the campsite you're in first of all just to make sure and see what the access is like for the van some campsites it's not very good um, and, it, and we find it easy just to take the toilet cassette uh, to the to the dump station if you're doing that uh, you'll notice that by lifting up this lever here you have got um, a carry handle which will enable you to pull the cassette along. Okay so we're at the dump station now and um, the cassette's either partially or fully uh, full of, of waste. Um, what we normally do here is we lift up this outlet pipe and remove the cap and remembering that when you pour this out you need to press the button here which allows the waste to come out and the air to come in. So once you've done that, um, and this is empty, you'd flush it through maybe two to three times with fresh water, emptying out each time until basically the cassette is completely empty of, of any waste. Once you're, if you're continuing on your holiday, you would uh, repeat the process that we went through earlier, which is to add the a sachet or the 150 mils of the chemical and three liters of water and then replace the cassette in the compartment. If the van's coming back to uh, us for return, um, we'd ask you just to keep it um, in, a, in a nice and clean state so that when it gets back to us, um, it's ready for the next uh, guest to use. That's the end of this particular video. We hope it's been useful. Check out our other handover videos on YouTube. To find us, just search for NZ Camp to go and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're sure to get any updates or new videos that we add from time to time. That's NZ Camper, the number two, and go. You can also check out our Facebook page by searching for the same name. And if you'd like to like our page, that would also be great. If you've got any suggestions of how we can improve the information we're providing here, um, you can email that to us at nzcamper2go at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching and goodbye for now.